Hey guys, Fox here with Tiger Force. Last war I mentioned that we had some tough Town Hall 8s on the enemy clan, and I wanted to outline a couple things here. Uh, first off, I wanted to show a couple of Town Hall 8 attacks, actually three in particular, before the details get wiped here. Um, uh, first off was a traditional Town Hall 8 dragon attack. I'm going to focus just on dragon attacks for this video um, because there's a new style that's out that seems to be working really well from, for some of our uh, top Town Hall 8s. wanted to introduce that to the rest of the clan and then also kind of compare that to the traditional style that also seems to work really well. Um, but let me first um, show the traditional style. And we had a phenomenal nominal attack here uh, by Lolo on their number uh, 19. So I'm going to go ahead and replay that. Um, if you notice um, on this attack, uh, she is going to be coming in um, from a flat side and, and it's kind of hard to sometimes see like what side is a flat side on a base design like this. But the goal is to come in behind the sweepers, uh, create a funnel. Um, and um, have your dragons mow straight across. She brought two rages, one heal, a haste, and a poison. And notice how she deploys the dragons in a way, I'm gonna pause it real quick. She deploys the dragons in a way that have um, essentially a gap between each dragon and also uh, more concentrated where there's going to be a structure where they're going to gravitate so they can quickly clear that high hit point structure and then the dragons to the right and the left of those won't then cluster in as well. So the key is to just create a mowing effect. You want it to just mow straight across the base. The other thing that she's doing here, if you notice in her clan castle, she packed all maxed loons which is a great idea um, because your dragons can tank for those loons if they're dropped first. So dragons first, and as they start to take fire from the air defenses, um, you'll see the first air defense is starting to target that dragon um, over here. Uh, then the loons can move in, and the loons can then quickly take that air defense out. And the loons didn't take any damage um, first because that dragon was tanking for them. So then those loons are going to suck up the, the traps. And as you notice, if I pause it here, um, if you notice, because the high hit point structure next is the town hall, the dragons will gravitate toward the town hall. And then from there, they're going to fan out um, to the remaining air defenses. Let's just watch how that works. So they all gravitate in because the weak structures are killed. Um, the three dragons on the right there targeted that air defense, and they just mow straight across. Now right turning into the um, last air defense, and from there, it's all over. Once that last air defense is wiped out, um, it's just a matter of time before uh, everything's toast. So great attack by Lolo. Very good traditional dragon attack. Um, excellent job of mowing across and dropping those loons after the dragons have already started to tank. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple uh, other attacks that have kind of that new style um, um, that's out called the Double Zap Quake. Um, and Sir John had a phenomenal attack here against their number 17. Again, maxed air defenses, traditionally difficult for dragons. But if you look at this, uh, it's clearly an anti-dragon layout, just like 19 was for Lolo. But um, uh, what you'll see is he packed two level 5 lightnings, and then he also had a uh, max quake in his CC. So what he's going to do is he's going to drop that quake right on that right air defense. It's going to go ahead and weaken it, and then he drops two lightnings. Now what that means is he only had to pack a half spell or a dark spell, which is only one space, and then two um, two space lightnings, leaving him the ability to pack a rage and even uh, a haste, which is gonna come into play here in a bit. So uh, he's only contending with two air defenses now, and he does a phenomenal job of funneling um, the dragon. So he starts by dropping his king, and he's just, the king's clearing out uh, some things that might drive the dragons to the outside ring. And then just like Lolo, he's spacing out those dragons, um, making it so that he's creating a mo effect here. And then as the dragons start to take heat from the air defense, he drops the CC, but he does drop it a touch late. Those dragons do take some heat from the air defenses. But because of his funneling job with the king, uh, they're going to go straight for that bottom right air defense. And then he's got a whole pack of dragons headed right for that other air defense. I mean, at this point... At this point, it's all over. He probably didn't even need to drop those loons, actually. <laughs> but, but he's got this thing cleared. So um, eliminating that air defense... Um, 
and still saving room for a rage and even a haste, which you notice he deployed the haste there for the loons, um, just gives you a ton of more options, and it makes those anti-dragon bases um, not so anti-dragon anymore. So obviously we know what's going to happen here. Wipes the rest out, and this guy's toast. Nice job from Sir John. Okay, last video I'm going to show here is another double zap quake, and this was a base that was giving us some troubles. It was their lowest Town Hall 8. I highlighted it actually in the last video regarding how to build a Town Hall 8. But let's see how Milton smoked this guy. So same thing, he's got, in this case, just a level 1 earthquake. This is not one that he packed in his CC. This is his own earthquake spell, and he's a Town Hall 8. Um, he has level 3 dragons, and he packed 2 max lightning spells. So, just like John... He's going to dispatch with one of these air defenses strategically. And then he's going to funnel the dragons in just perfectly. And his job of funneling actually is a little different. Um, Milton knows how dragons will react to high hit point structures. And he comes in behind the air sweeper, as you'll see here. But he sends that first dragon in. That was not an accidental drop. He is actually clearing out a structure um, here, actually a few, and he's going to create a way that the dragons will actually sweep around the bottom or the the left to the bottom. It's really cool here. So let's just watch. So those two dragons are obviously targeting those high hit point structures first, and he is creating. I guess you'd call it a funnel, but essentially what he's creating is a path spacing the dragons out. Notice they're not even taking a single bullet from the air defenses yet. And then he brings in the rest and they're just going to sweep around that side and tar and then and, and then just gang up on these um, air defenses. So boom. There they go, they're targeting. And he actually is using a method here, and he could have dropped that, that loon set again just a little bit sooner probably. But there's a lot to keep your eye on when you're doing this sort of an attack. But what he's doing is what I call the balloon sneak, which is basically you've got your structure, or you've got your dragons tanking in from one side, and you've got like a remaining uh, air defense on the other, and you can actually bring your loons in when the, when the air defenses are targeting your dragons. You can then bring your loons in or time it. So right when the air defense starts hitting your dragons, your loons are, are, are then in range of the air defense. And so um, he hastes those in perfectly. Look at this. Just boom. And even if those dragons would have went down, he, his loons would have... I mean, he had like the perfect backup there. They would have just smoked it. So he used the double zap quake in combination with the balloon sneak. Could have dropped those loons just a touch sooner, but I'm not going to fault Milton on this attack at all because he he cleared a very difficult base um, flawlessly. I mean, if you see how many dragons he has left. So, anyway, um, double zap quake, loon sneak, and even a traditional dragon attack. If you if you follow in those tanking dragons with a balloon CC um, and space them appropriately extremely viable attacks. Dragons are still the staple for most Town Hall 8 attacks, and they should be mastered um, for Town Hall 8s, and you'll have consistent 3 stars. So um, comment if you have any questions, um, and uh, great job, Lolo, Sir John, and Milton.